Hey guys, this is Panchi and you are on my channel Crude and Careless. The goal of this video is to make you understand how any given cactus is propagated so that you don't have to look for a new video every time you have a new cactus to propagate. Now first, I would like to tell you that there are three steps that are common to any cactus propagation. Also, here I am talking about cactus propagation through cutting, not seeds. Yes, cactus can have flowers and thus seeds. I have a cactus that has red color fruits and seeds inside. I will try and propagate it through seeds and share the result with you in some other video. But for this video, let's stick to the method that is fast, easy and gives almost 100% result. So again, there are three steps involved in any cactus propagation. First, you have to take a cutting from the main plant or the mother plant. Second step, you have to let the open end callus or in simple words, let it dry or heal so that when it comes in contact with wet soil, it won't rot. Also, this is the area from where maximum roots come out. Third, you have to place the cutting in soil. Now, some people ask how deep we should place the cutting inside the soil. I would say deep enough that the cutting won't fall off and would be able to handle its weight. That's it. Now, these were the common steps. Then what is the difference? The difference is in the way you take the cutting from different type of cacti. Now I'm going to explain what I mean by type of cactus. Based on my understanding, I have divided cacti into three categories. In the first category, we have cacti that clone themselves or grow pups on their body that are exactly similar to the mother plant but smaller in size. Look at this one. This one also has some uh, of these small babies growing on it. Each of these will form a new cacti. Again, look at this one. This has so many pups growing and you simply have to pluck them. These have a wet open area after plucking. But this area is very small so you can put them in a shady area for 2-3 to three days and then place it in soil and they are good to go. These are some cuttings that I placed in soil 3-4 to four days ago. Let me show you if it has formed roots. See in 3-4 to four days only it has formed roots. So amazing. Although it might take some time but all these will also become full fledged cactuses like the main cactus. Next in the second category we have cactuses that grow vertically. Like these or these. Now in cactuses that grow vertically, you can take cutting from anywhere along the length. Just make a cut 3 to 4 inches long. After that you can make another cut like this. A thing that I love about vertical growing cactuses is that where you make a cut for propagation they start branching from that point only. So we have more than one vertical growing cacti at that point. Now for this cactus I have dried some cuttings and I'll place them in soil. These cuttings were drying in a shaded area for around two weeks. Uh, it doesn't matter, cactuses don't die that easily, so these cuttings will grow. In this video, I am not going to talk about cactus soil or the soil that I am using because according to me, it is a complete topic in itself. There are so many uh, myths related to cactus soil and people believe that you need a special kind of soil for cactuses, so I will make a separate video on th this topic. The third and last category of cactuses is the slow growing ones. I would say usually slow growing cactuses are thick or 
round or have a very fleshy structure like this golden barrel cactus these cactuses also grow from buds and side growths or pups but the difference is that these are very slow growing cactuses and they sometimes take several years to grow buds or side growths or pups depending upon the age of the cactus usually they have uh, they have a certain age after which they grow uh, pups there are some professional methods but these methods are for professionals only because these involve damaging the growing portion of the cactus forcing them to activate their survival mechanism so the best way of propagation in this case if you are not a professional is to wait for these to grow buds and side growths or pups 